Welcome back to Mysterious Math. Today's lesson is on complementary and supplementary angles. Some stuff you should know already are the basic types of angles, um, acute angles, right angles, obtuse angles, basic addition, basic subtraction, as well as adding and subtracting decimals. So make sure you know those and let's get started. So first of all, what are complementary angles? Complementary angles are two or more angles that add up to exactly 90 degrees. Let's take a few examples. We have this angle here. We'll call it angle 1, and this angle is angle 2. Let's say angle 1 is 34 degrees, and let's say angle 2 is 56 degrees. If we put the two together, then we have an angle that together becomes 90 degrees. That angle there is a 90 degree angle. And because the two angles, angle 1 here and angle 2 here, they share a side, they share this side here, that means that they together form 90 degrees. So that makes them complementary angles. Angle 1 is complementary to angle 2 and vice versa. Again, we have angle 1 and angle 2. Let's say angle 1 is 77 degrees. Angle 2 is 13 degrees. We put them together and we get a 90 degree angle. This angle here is a 90 degree angle. So angles 1 and 2 are complementary. And it doesn't matter if we have two angles or 20 angles. As long as the angles together add up to 90 degrees, they are complementary to each other. So for example, angle 1 is 16.4 degrees, angle 2 is 16.3 degrees, and angle 3 is 57.3 degrees. Again, it's not really drawn to scale. What I want you to really focus on is the numbers that we're using. So if we put the three together, then we have a right angle, and therefore angles 1, 2, and 3 are all complementary angles because they add up to 90 degrees. So here we have a set of complementary angles. Angle one is complementary to angle two. Well, how do we know that? Because we see here that they share this side and together their other sides form a right angle. We can tell it forms a right angle because of the right angle box here. So let's say we had angle one and that's 64 degrees. So angle one is 64 degrees. What exactly is the measure of angle two? So let's call that X degrees. Well, how do we go about finding the measure of this remaining angle? Now we know that the entire angle, as we said before, is a right angle, so therefore it's 90 degrees. Since we know that's 90 degrees, we know that this angle, angle 1, and this angle, angle 2, together have to add up to 90 degrees. So how do we go about finding this remaining angle here, angle 2? Well, we would subtract 64 degrees from the 90, because we know the entire angle is made of 90 degrees. This angle so far goes 64 degrees. So how much further does it have to go to create 90 degrees? So that's why we're subtracting. 90 minus 64. Well, we can't subtract 0 minus 4, so we're going to have to borrow from the 9. Borrow from the 9, make that an 8. That becomes a 10. And then 10 minus 4 is going to be 6, and 8 minus 6 is 2. So that means that the measure of angle X is 26 degrees. And it's important to make sure that we know the terminology. We know that's 26 degrees, but we also know that that can be called the complement. So when we say the complement of an angle, we're basically asking for the angle that would add up to our initial angle to make 90 degrees. So for example, this angle here is 64 degrees, this is 64 degrees, so the complement of this angle is 26 degrees, because that's the value added to an angle to make the total 90. So here we have angle 7 and angle 8. Let's say the measure of angle 7 is 47 degrees. Well. What's the measure of angle 8? We're not sure yet, so let's label it W degrees. Same exact procedure as the last example. I know that my entire angle is 90 degrees, so I'm going to start with 90. And I know so far from here to here, I only go 47 degrees. So I subtract 47 from 90, and that tells me what I have remaining, how much further I have to go to make a right angle. So I can't subtract 0 from 7. I have to borrow from 9 again, make that an 8. That becomes 10. 10 minus 7 is 3. And 8 minus 4 is 4. That's 43 degrees. So W is 43 degrees, and 43 is my complement for my 47 degree angle. Okay, so we've already gone over complementary angles. And we now know the complementary angles are two or more angles that add up to exactly 90 degrees. They add up to exactly a right angle. Well, supplementary angles are very, very similar. Supplementary angles are two or more angles that add up to exactly 180. The only difference between complementary and supplementary is the fact that supplementary is 180 and complementary is 90. 
the procedures we use to find the, the complement in the last example is very similar to what we do for supplementary angles. So first, let's take a look at what exactly happens with supplementary angles. If we have two angles, here we have two right angles, this right angle over here and this right angle over here, we know they're both 90. If we put them together, then what happens is they share this one side and together they form a straight line and we should know already that a straight line is 180 degrees. Now it doesn't have to be just two right angles, it can be two angles of any form. Here we have two different kinds of angles. We have this acute angle here, which is 62 degrees, this obtuse angle here, which is 118 degrees. Again, we put the two together and it's the same exact thing that happens as before. They share this side and because they share this side and together form a straight line, they are considered to be supplementary angles because together they add up to 180 degrees. So let's say we have angle one and angle two. Now we know they're both supplementary because they uh, add up to 180. Angle one is obtuse, angle two is acute. Let's say angle one is 153 degrees. So what exactly is angle two? That would be whatever number of degrees. Here we're representing it with the variable r. I just wanna be very clear. It doesn't matter what variable we use. If we use the variable r, the variable p, the variable w, the variable x, doesn't matter. We're just picking any variable. So what exactly do we do? Again, it's kind of like when we had complementary angles, except now we've traveled 153 degrees. How much further to get to 180? Well, we know our total is 180, so let's start with that. And then we know that angle one is 153. So we're going to subtract 153 to see how much further we'd have to go to get to 180. Well, I can't subtract uh, three from zero, so I'm gonna have to borrow from the eight, make that a seven, that becomes 10. 10 minus three is seven, seven minus five is two, and one minus one is zero, so that's it. So that's 27 degrees. R is 27 degrees. And just like before, when the angles add up to 90 degrees, we call it a complement. This angle here, the 27, is called our supplement because it's the value added to an angle to make the total 180. So if we started with the angle of 153 degrees, if we start with this angle here at 153 degrees, this angle is the supplement of 153 degrees. How about this angle here? Again, we're using angles one and two. Angle one is 78.5 degrees. What is angle two? We're not sure. Let's use a variable to represent it. This time we're using the variable A. So the procedure is exactly the same. I start off with 180 because that's the total of my angles. Remember, it's a straight line because they're supplementary. Now, we're going to subtract 78.5. Well, I have to make sure that I'm subtracting from something, so I have to put something here there's automatically going to be a decimal and a zero here because that's a whole number. And right after a whole number, you have your decimal, and we annex a zero. So now we're going to have to borrow. When we borrow, we're going to borrow from the eight, make that a seven. We're going to make the zero a nine. We're making this here a 10. So now we've got 10 minus five is going to be five. We've got nine minus eight is going to be one. Seven minus seven is zero, and one minus nothing is one. So that means the measure of angle A is 101.5 degrees. And just like we said before, this angle here is our supplement because it's what we added to 78.5 to get a total angle or a total sum of angles that equal 180 degrees. So here's your pause and practice. Just pause and practice. When you're done, unpause the video. After a three, two, one countdown, your answer will be displayed. Go. Okay, so let's take a look at our answers. Number one is 45 degrees. Number two is 67 degrees. Number three is 40.4 degrees. Number four is 9.1 degrees. Number five is y equals 13 degrees. Number six is 28 degrees. Number seven is 83 degrees. Number eight is 79.01 degrees. Number nine is 98 degrees and number 10 is 62 degrees. Our reflection. Two or more angles that add up to exactly 90 degrees are complementary angles. When two angles share a side and add up to 90 degrees, the missing value that makes the two angles 90 degrees is called the 
complement. In order to find the complement of an angle, you must subtract the given angle from 90 degrees. So basically, if we're asked to find the complement and we're given an angle of, let's say, 60 degrees, then we would subtract that angle from 90 degrees and get our complement. So for example, 90 degrees minus 60 degrees equals 30 degrees. 30 degrees would be that angle's complement. Two or more angles that add up to exactly 180 degrees are supplementary angles. When two angles share a side and add up to 180 degrees, the missing value that makes the two angles 180 degrees is called the supplement. In order to find the supplement of an angle, you must subtract the given angle from 180 degrees. So for example, if we're given an angle that is, let's say, 100 degrees, then we would take away that angle from 180 degrees and that would give us our supplement. So 180 minus 100 would give us 80 degrees. Those 80 degrees, that angle would be the angle's supplement. Don't forget to like, share, and subscribe. Questions, comments, leave them down below. And thanks for using Mr. Ace Math. Don't just pass math, ace it.